what's up gems i'm jamelia and if you're new here welcome to my channel to my returning subscribers you guys welcome back i am back with another tiktok not necessarily story times but they are tiktok compilation i'm not gonna lie i hit play and i watched the first 12 seconds because i was already drawn in to what i was seeing um let's get into the video i'm already bothered by what i just saw like the first 12 seconds have my soul absolutely pressed <sighs> let's get into it you guys I'm busy. Don't take my phone. Hey, what the fuck is your problem? How do I do this? Name some events in your life that were supposed to be positive, but your parents ruined. So at the end of each year, my high school gave out awards for things like good grades. Okay, so there might be a few story times in there as part of the compilation. Duly noted. Good attendance, etc. Well, my last three years of high school, I got an award for getting good grades. There was a ceremony that students and their parents were supposed to attend to receive the award and all of that. Well, I never went to the ceremony because my mom said that she expected me to get good grades and that I did not deserve an award for meeting expectations. My junior year of high school, my choir teacher actually asked me why I wasn't at the award ceremony. And I told her what my mom said that I didn't deserve the award because I was just meeting expectations. My choir teacher actually paused class and took me to the principal's office to get my award plaque and told me that she was proud of me. And she called my mom to tell my mom that she should be proud of me as well. If you don't she think that children been. should be allowed to establish boundaries of any kind because they should only fear and respect you, you're setting them up for abusive relationships in the future and you're being a toxic parent. Which she said. What was the biggest lie that your mother told you as a child? I was in my 20s, my fiance wanted to postpone our wedding. It absolutely put me into a tailspin and I was given anxiety medication at the hospital because I had a complete emotional breakdown and I had to be transferred to a higher level of care because they couldn't um, take care of me in the facility that I was at. And so my fiance called my mom and asked her to please come and see if she could help get me out sooner. When I got there, my mom told my fiance to go to his motorcycle race and that she would see him on Monday. I got out of the hospital and my mom told me that he did not want me, he did not want to get married, that he absolutely still wanted to keep the wedding called off and took away my phone and moved me back to Montana. When he came home, I was gone and I never knew until, actually it's been 13 years and I found out last year that it was all a lie. Oh. Hi, I just wanted to talk to you about me moving out. No, you can't do that. Um, I can, and I'm ready to. Thanks. Well, then, give me your car, give me your phone, and you're paying for school. Mm, I already paid. Y'all, I'm still stuck on the last story. Then, so, no. And in terms of school, if I have to get a loan, I'll get a loan. You work a minimum wage job. How are you going to move out? Actually, I got a raise recently, and with the hours I'm being given, I think I can pull it off. Well, if you move out, who's going to help out around the house? You know we can't do it alone. Yeah, I understand that, and I can come by to help if you ever need, but you can't keep me here forever. Don't come crawling back when you can't afford to live by yourself. Yeah, I'll try my best not to. Thanks for all your support. We've given you everything here. You're just ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful, but as long as I live here, I'm not going to be treated like an adult, and that's that. Mom, do you think I'm pretty? Ariana, I'm not gonna answer stupid fucking questions. What are you going nuts for your age? You're very immature. I was just asking if you think I'm pretty. <sighs> she ain't never asked her mama that question again. So my toxic mom just left for work, so we all know what that means. Damn. 
Dude. Seriously. It, oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> What's the most fucked up thing that your parents ever did to you and you still remember to this day? This one. This one right here. Comment down below if you have a story or anything you feel comfortable enough sharing down in the comment section below. Um, what is the most fucked up thing your parent or parents have done to you that it's still in your memory? It lives there rent free. The emotions, everything that comes with it, it's it's there rent free. Damn. Really hurts. I like can't even say it because I know I'm gonna cry. I was seven years old and I was scared to sleep alone because I was scared of the dark and I went to my parents' room. My dad got really upset that I woke him up in the middle of the night and he carried me downstairs and he took all my clothes off, zip tied my arms and legs to a chair so that I couldn't move and he whipped me with his belt as my mom watched. And that was the hardest thing. Like I replay it in my head. And I ask, why? Why would someone teach their child like that? There was another time where my dad got angry at us for not coming home, and I was in fifth grade, for not coming home when he wanted us to. And he turned on a torch and threatened to burn me and my brother alive and kill us. And he said, we're all dying today. Exes be like, I gave you the world, I gave you the world. First of all, that was heavy. Um, <clears throat> wow. No, respectfully, you gave me PTSD. Okay, repeat after me. If I give my child money, if I give my child money that they didn't ask for, that they didn't ask for, and expect favors in return, and expect favors in return. That is financial abuse. That is financial abuse. Got it? Okay, all together now. If I give my child money that they didn't ask for and expect favors in return, that is financial abuse. I sacrificed so much for my child and they owe me everything. We are not rehabs for broken men. We are not banks for broke women. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> We are not rehabs for broken men. We are not banks for broke women. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me your mom shouldn't be a mom without telling me your mom shouldn't be a mom. Growing up, my mom- Baby, it is my time to shine. Let me tell you. I am the oldest child and my mother favors my youngest sibling. When I first started my business and told my mom she could be my assistant, all she was worried about was the money from it. She didn't actually care that you know I ran a business. When we fell out last year, I'm she told you, me boo. that um, my bed behind me that y'all think is so cute. Well, it's from Renna Center. She told me she was gonna have Renna Center repossess my furniture, causing me to sleep on the floor in this big ass room. Why? When I was in the fifth grade, I had a boyfriend. My mom found out and she beat my ass. This wasn't your typical ass whooping. I got out the shower, fresh out the shower. She cornered me and whipped the fuck out of me with a belt to the point where I was so badly bruised when I went to school the next day, all I could do was cry. She was a lunch aide at the school, which didn't make it any better. Growing up, you know, I used writing to cope with the loss of my great grandma. My mom read my journal every chance she got, but would never ask me what was wrong. My mom always labeled me as the mentally ill child. I like for a part two, cause I can keep going. How you gonna label her as mentally? You know what? Let me just say this. Um, proud of her for her business and all that she's doing. I don't even know her. Proud of you, girl. Um, that fresh out the shower ass whooping. Oh my. Just thinking about it is making my body hurt it's everywhere. And, um,. The mental health. Me <sighs> Some people truly do not deserve to be parents, honestly. Some people, like, you just, you truly don't deserve the blessings of having a child or children. This doesn't apply to everybody. I'm just saying, some people. It's crazy. Y'all. <sighs> Why are you always in the goddamn room laying in the bed? Why are you always in the bed? 
age 12. You never spend any time with this goddamn family. And all we ever do is want to spend time with you and hang out with you. <laughs> yeah. Can we watch the Cheetah Girls though? I really love that movie. We ain't watching no damn Cheetah Girls, man. You always want to watch those girly movies and stuff because you're too sensitive. What you what you should be watching is Boys in the Hood to understand and not try to be having those pipe dreams of becoming a singer and an entertainer. You're too sensitive with your sensitive ass. No, we gonna watch this movie. Okay. Tell me you grew up in a toxic household. We just want to stop it here, y'all. I don't know why these, this, these videos are just upsetting just a little bit. Um, it's crazy because a lot of these stories are way too relatable, like way too relatable. You know, many of us, if not a majority of us have had our experience or experiences with toxic parents or a toxic parent. And it's, it's not... It's not fun. All these stories, even from beginning to end, just ill, 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 ill. Not a single one of these individuals deserve to be treated like that. It 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 sucks. It it genuinely sucks that the people that you would turn to for comfort and love and support they turn out to be completely shitty. Not in you know every instance. We have some amazing moms and dads out there. Amazing you know, <clears throat> parental figures, but for those of you out there tweaking, <sighs> but again, and I really hope you don't have a story to share, if that makes sense, but if you do and you feel comfortable enough, please comment down below, and if you don't want to comment, you can also message me directly on Instagram and just talk to me there if you don't want it to be public or anything like that which is totally understandable um yeah if you guys made it this far in the video thank you for hanging out thanks for chilling with me thanks for kicking it thanks for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back after all this time if you're new here thanks for just giving my video a chance um yeah, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I hope you're having a lovely day, a productive day. And I look forward to kicking it in the next video. Bye, you guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs>